<laughs> but we're getting close. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go talk to Victor, your chef, because your chef is back here. Come with me. The Big Levecki is with me today. And the big, what a great, what a great joy to have the Big Levecki with us right here. Victor, you are back here. You are the lone survivor back in this kitchen. Tell people at home what you're doing. You're not cooking for to-go orders. You're cooking out of kindness of your heart for the people who work here. Tell folks at home what's up. Restaurants all over the county are coming together to try and change the current standards to reopen. According to Governor Newsom, restaurants cannot open for sit-down dining until 14 days goes by without a COVID-19 death. KUSI's Dan Plant is live from Harbor Island. And Dan, our local restaurants are really fighting for survival. Oh, absolutely. And every day that goes by, another restaurant is throwing their hands up in the air and say, am I going to make it? You know, we hear all these depressing numbers about the unemployment rate and how many businesses are out of business. Well, guess what? Every day that goes by, some of those businesses are not coming back. They will never be back. And the longer they wait, uh, the more likely that is. So restaurant business, obviously, a very, very living on the edge anyway, living on the, on the margins as far as the profits go for restaurants. And and, you know, there are thousands of them. In fact, right behind me, take a look at this beautiful. There are hundreds of restaurants here in San Diego. I am at the Bally High, and the Bally High is one of those restaurants that's been around since the mid-1970s. And earlier today, I got a chance to talk with the owner of the Bally High and the other restaurant they own across the way is called Tom Ham's Lighthouse, right? They own both of them, have for like 50 years, and they are wondering what's going on. But we're going to start at a place called the Cowboy Star, which is downtown, and we're gonna to talk to all of them. Listen to what they have to say. Even though the executive chef is busy making meals in the kitchen, he is not making orders to go like a lot of places. Here at Cowboy Star, he is making meals for the out-of-work employees and their families. We're just working on uh, providing meals for our employees and their families. We decided, uh, instead of opening and do to go food or do anything else you know we just put all our energy and all our efforts into providing a meal for them twice a week to be clear this is a high-end restaurant and recently did some high-end remodeling including this drop-down bar a lot of money going out zero money coming in and the owners were shocked when the governor set the standard so high for reopening essentially zero deaths from coronavirus for 14 days straight. Our county and our city has worked so hard on these plans to open and we're ready. You know, they've, they've done a great job and we just really believe that that control should be given to our county now. This shouldn't be in the state's hands anymore. We've done what we've needed to do. Let our county take it from here. Until the coronavirus, this was one of those places where steak is king and you have your choice of cowboy-themed wraparound leather booths. When they do open again, the safety plan is ready to go. One of the things that we will be doing is checking temperatures of all of our staff. Uh, I actually had stickers made so that it says uh, I got my temperature checked. So that, you know, when, when the staff member comes in, when a, when a delivery driver comes in, we'll be checking temperatures. We'll be making sure that, you know, everything is safe in the way it should be. Like a lot of industries, the restaurant owners are coming together as a collective voice in hoping to have an impact on the political policy. The owners of the Bally High and Tom Ham's Lighthouse, they have been successful for decades in San Diego, paying a lot of salaries and a lot of taxes. They are ready to reopen and do it safely. We're ready to open, and, and we, we crafted a plan, we being the, the California Restaurant Association and the, and the county health department, submitted it to the, to the governor, he approved it, and then he added these two additional requirements, moved the goalposts. We, we, need, we, we need to get people back to work. And if some of those places decide to get back to work without approval, the governor is threatening serious punishment, including the loss of a liquor license. Very expensive. Not really a punishment, however, if you're already out of business. There's a lot of mom and pop small operations that every day that they're closed is closer to them closing permanently. And the, the threat of losing their liquor license if they open up defiantly is weighed with not opening up ever again and bankruptcy.
And those are really bad choices, uh, given what's going on here. Right now, the California Restaurant Association has 22,000 member restaurants, and there are 80,000 restaurants in California. Collectively, most of them are closed, not making a penny, and this is a huge hit on the economy, obviously, for all those people, you know, who get paychecks from restaurants and feed their families from those paychecks. This is a major, major deal. And once again, reflecting on what the mayor said in the previous story and what Angie said in this particular story, it is time to get local control back into this situation. This stuff cannot trickle down one size fits all from this person, one person up in Sacramento dictating all these things that go on. It is time for local control. And I think a lot of people agree that. And San Diego, uh, by the way, we have been doing so well in terms of that cliche flattening the curve and, you know, basically doing all that. San Diego is doing extremely well. And in fact, I learned something today that a lot of people don't know this, but right now at the San Diego Convention Center across the way, there are, are approximately 1,100 homeless people inside the convention center. As each one of those people goes into the center, they have been tested for the coronavirus. And the last number that came out out of 1,100 people was three were tested positive for the coronavirus out of the homeless population living on the street. So clearly San Diego is doing pretty well in either not having the coronavirus to begin with or dealing with it. So the homeless population, 1,100, only three tested positive. Emergency rooms are not full of people. There are not overspills of these things. It is time for the local control to come back, like the mayor said and like Angie said, it is time. So we're out, outside of the Valley High, and uh, the restaurant business is, is eager to get back to work. And this is really sad to stand outside these beautiful places, just completely empty shells of what they used to be. Hopefully someday they'll be back. So with that, we'll throw it back to you guys.